literally bought this months ago. Thank you for motivating me to take it off. Hi guys, it's been a minute. Uh, <laughs> well for YouTube it's been like a year. I am decided to take a media break for like a month and a half, two months of like everything. I'm currently on week like two and a half. I'm feeling good. The reason for the reason for the spontaneous break, because it was spontaneous to me, and I don't know if anybody really cares, but um just thought I would start it off. I felt a little bit like I was drowning in the land of media, and I feel like everybody feels that way because it's just like we expect toddlers to control their screen time and we can't really even do that ourselves. That's how I felt. But also I was it's not like I had like an overconsumption of media, but I always had like this I need to create, I need to do something awesome, I need to like be so creative and I need to do all this stuff and you know when you constantly consume content you're just kind of like trying to catch up to everybody and do what everybody else is doing and I just felt fried and like this is not my full-time job I don't earn money from this and the fact that I was putting more energy into something that's supposed to be a hobby rather than my actual job was like that's not smart <laughs> you know so I took a media break I'm in week two and a half I won't be back so right now I'm filming still in February. I won't be back until April. I'm doing that whole thing and I feel so good about it. I honestly feel like huge as weight is off my shoulders. And like as soon as I stopped doing um, Instagram, I got sick. My kids got sick. Everybody was down for like two weeks. So I guess it was like a purge, a cleanse for the system. And now we're feeling better. I'm feeling better. Haven't been consuming content. Haven't been creating content aside from work. And I feel good. And the first place I felt like I wanted to start up again was here. You guys are my favorite platform. Um, sorry I haven't been present. But yeah, I thought I would just film what I've been up to my day. I won't be posting this again until April. So, hello from the past. But yeah, I'm just getting ready for work. Go to work once a week. It's very important. I'm just picking out earrings. I got my little, my little berries, my wisterias, or my friend just made me these beautiful little butterfly ones, and I think I think we're gonna give these a shot. I've been on a kick for like quirky earrings. Um, maybe it's a new thing. Maybe it's my new little thing. I don't know, but I've been collecting them, so I guess it is already my new thing. I'm just gonna pop these on real quick. A anyway, how are you? Only talking about myself here, but genuinely, how are you guys? How are you feeling? I feel like a lot of people, well, at least like people in my circle, a lot of people have been doing like a media cleanse. Um, I'm getting so much better at putting on earrings. I remember when I first got my ears pierced, I could not do it. I was like, I need to like be under a microscope in order to do this, but I have, not to toot my own horn, but I have uh, put in earrings without even looking in the mirror a few times. So expert over here. But yeah, I have to get ready for work. I have to go to work. On Wednesdays we do media at the shop. I know I haven't been showing the shop <laughs> at all. I just kind of separated my two lives. But it's part of my life. You know, it's what you do. So instead of like creating content to like live to create content, I'm just gonna show what I'm doing, you know? This is the best work bag in the entire world. It's amazing, my entire laptop fits in here, iPad, everything, it just kind of like bounces in here. It's perfect, it's sleek, it's so cute. Philip got it for me like two years ago because I was using like Trader Joe's bags to haul my work stuff around. But anyway, I need to bring my laptop, need to bring this big, camera boy, um, my other camera, and uh, notes. I'm going to be filming for the majority of the beginning of the day at the shop. We're collabing with a couple of designers and then I'm going to take my laptop, take all my stuff, go to one of my favorite coffee shops, and do taxes. 
prepare for taxes, um, but you know when you do it in like an aesthetic setting, it like feels fun. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. <laughs> Time to film! Oh, that's a good idea. Is it recording? Is it backlit? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like pasta. Oh, well. <laughs> so what we're doing now is we're filming a collaboration between us and one of the designers that we carry and then we're gonna make a fun little reel for them. And then we're gonna send it over to them and then they're gonna post it and they're gonna tag us. So that's what we do on Wednesday. Let's try doing glam Yeah. Okay, I'll just stand here. <laughs> Dangerous. That was weird. Um, I need you to like walk in and then do it. Walk in? But like, just like start like, yeah, we keep, I, we have to direct eye contact with the camera the whole time. Okay, ready? Hello, we're checking in with you guys. It is like one o'clock or something. I went and I got some lunch from Whole Foods. Just, um, so I just got a sushi roll and then I picked up some stuff for a salad that I'm making for Bible study tonight. And now I'm off. Off to the coffee shop to edit everything we just filmed and answer emails and all that. Ciao! We made it. The thing that I love about this coffee shop, if you're a fellow Minnesotan, it's the one on Snelling in St. Paul, the Spy House. That's where we get all of our beans. Their beans are incredible, but what I love about this location is their marble countertops. Those countertops, I have been staring at them for probably like six years, five years. Every time, I'm just like astounded by how beautiful they are. I'll try to set it a high top so I can show you guys. I'm not going to film in there. I'm not going to talk in there because that's weird. But I will point it out if I can. Their countertops are incredible. And eventually when we have enough resources to redo our kitchen, those are the countertops I want. Exactly. I will buy them from them. They're so beautiful. They have like a little bit of like a jade to them. Anyway, um, I'm going to go stare at those. Hopefully I get a seat at the bar. Um, I am going to be, basically what I do now is Yule and I, we just like batched content. We filmed so much stuff um, just so we can then edit throughout the week and post. Um, it's a lot of work. If you, I feel like if you are a fellow business owner right now, you know that if you don't have a media presence with your business, it's very difficult to like survive. You have to have an audience and you have to like pr produce content and like stay up to date with it and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like my job now it is not to do anything with the brides. Like I rarely run appointments. I rarely interact with the customer unless there's like issues because I take care of those things too. I produce content, I take care of accounting and I run the background of the business, which it's okay because I still get to be creative and all that, but it's hard. It's hard to upkeep and that's why we dedicated like a specific day of the week to do it so that we are more consistent with it. Um, but now, um, last week one of the brands that we work with, that we carry, they reached out to us t for us to create content for them, which is cool. Um, <clears throat> exposure! So yeah, that's what I'll be doing. I'll just be sitting there and sifting through, editing pictures, editing reels. And then getting to the tax stuff, which I don't want to do. Taxes aren't due until April, like what, 15th? I still have some time to procrastinate. It's just a lot to go through. 
But yeah, that's basically what I will be doing for the next couple of hours. I did text Philip, and I was like, hey, I'll be working here in case you want to swing by. But he, like, works too, so <laughs> that's not happening. But I thought I would just reach out and see. Um, yeah, boys, first boy, number one boy, is in school. Number two boy is with grandma. She watches though him once a week. So this is, this is where my children are, in case you're wondering. If you're new here, hi, my name is Elisa. I uh, am mother, I am wife, I am a business owner, and um, I show up here once in a while. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed those countertops thoroughly. I've been home. I have been editing for the past two, three hours. It's almost five. Submitted everything to the brands, so we should be good there. One of the videos I edited was of the Vincenza dress, and there is this sound going around of this girl singing in French, like, voila. Oh, it's so good. I'll link it below, just so you guys can admire the work that I've done. I'm just gonna make a salad right now for Bible study, and then we're off to Bible study got this kefir if you guys don't do kefir consider consider doing so this is the best kefir you can only get it at whole foods so freaking expensive i think this is like seven dollars that's illegal that should be illegal but thing about yogurt and kefir is you can re reproduce it <laughs> at home so i'll leave like half a cup of this and then like batch it by adding more milk leaving it out all that kind of stuff love how bacteria works in that way so yeah i'm just gonna chop some things up and we'll be off to bible city when philippe gets home i hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog nice and short nice and sweet easing our way back in all right bye bye